Hello everyone, Gareth Masterland 74 back again today doing another Valve Source Code tutorial. This time around I'm doing a redo of episode 0 which was the downloading and acquiring the source code and being able to compile the code so you're able to create your own client and server .dll files. Now the reason for this is that my initial video was done over two and a half years ago at this point. And there's been some developments, some changes that makes that video outdated now. So I'm doing this video to better serve as an introduction point for Valve source code editing, shall we say. So some things are pretty much the same as my initial video. Uh, so first and foremost, you want to go to your Steam library and under the tools, you want to navigate to where you find source 2013 single player or multiplayer and install whichever version you wish to use. So it goes without saying for single player stuff, you'd get the single player version. For multiplayer stuff, you'll get the multiplayer version. But one caveat is because Valve have done some fuckery with the 2013 single player version, you have to opt into the upcoming beta. So you just right click on the single player, then just uh, go into properties, betas, and then select upcoming. You'll have a little bit of an additional download, but that will make single player mods work. You don't have to do the same for the multiplayer. For some reason, it's only the single player version that does this. And you also want to go to Valve's GitHub page. I'll leave a link in that in the description. But this is the 2013 code and it contains both the single player and the multiplayer versions of the code. So you pick whichever version applies to you. So what you want to do after this is get Visual Studio. Now, one thing you might be wondering is, can't I just get the most recent version of Visual Studio? And the answer is actually no. And one thing that is imperative and very important is that you need to get the correct platform tool set. Now, most people don't realize this. And I did have comments on the original video from people saying that they were having issues and it's for this very reason. So the Valve source code uses the VS120 XP platform tool set which only comes from Visual Studio 2013. And the only way that I know of at least to get this is to get the community version of Visual Studio 2013. Now, one of the reasons this video is being made is because Visual Studio 2013 has actually been taken offline, or at least the community version has, by Microsoft. And for people like myself who have Visual Studio 2013 community installed on their system, are going to perpetually get errors saying that you need to verify your license to use the product and it just fails every time because the servers have been taken offline. So thankfully there have been attempts to archive this version of Visual Studio. So I have to credit and a massive shout out and thank you to Wazinator on the Internet Archive for basically providing a complete install of Visual Studio 2013 community. It is a near 5 gigabyte.iso file. And because my internet sucks, it would have took me about two days or so to download this initially when I wanted to do this video months back. But it doesn't seem to be too bad now. I ended up getting the torrent version eventually. But um, if that seems a bit too daunting for you, then I have created what I like to call the minimalist version of Visual Studio 2013. So that's on a Google Drive and that's a little less than two gigabytes. But it's uh, in a .iso format. So to use these, you just right click on the .iso, click on mount, it attaches it as if it's a CD drive, and then you just click on vscommunity.exe and install Visual Studio that way. And for the minimalist version, I've set it up so it only, you only have to select the foundation classes for C++ and deselect everything else, otherwise you're going to get errors with missing packages. I did get an error with a missing package in this video, but that doesn't matter because that was for SQL stuff and that's irrelevant. And for the minimalist version, it does say that it fails at the end, but it doesn't matter. You install Visual Studio 2013, you can use it if you want to, but effectively at this point you have the platform tool set installed and that's all that matters. That's the whole reason why I'm saying to download Visual Studio 2013 because that gives you the platform tool set needed for the at least the regular source code to compile properly. So after this, I downloaded Visual Studio 2022 as a proof of concept that the most recent version of Visual Studio works with the source code from nine years prior or about 10 years prior at the time of this video, I guess. Now, this is an issue that I experience. It's where you install a later version of Visual Studio first and then Visual Studio 2013 later. 
and you'll end up with some form of an error message saying that the .vc proj extension was not recognized and so what you have to do to fix this unfortunately is to edit your registry now be careful when doing this but if you really want to fix this then you'll have to navigate to h key local machine then software wow 6432 node microsoft visual studio 10.0 projects and then in curly brackets 8 b c 9 c e b 8 8 b 4 a 1 1 d 0 8 d 1 1 0 0 a 0 c 9 1 b c 9 4 2 I know that's terrible and at any stage along the way if you need to create any of these folders then you just right click and go new key and then inside of the curly braces folder you want to add a string key and call it default project extension and give it a value of vc proj so if you have any issues trying to build the games or everything solution then what i've just outlined will allow you to build the games and everything solution now because VC Proj is recognized as an extension. So one last thing you want to download is the SAPI51 folder, which was formerly a part of the Microsoft Speech SDK, which apparently also is taken offline. But um, there's an archive of it, and you just need to download that, extract it, and copy it into your SP or MP, SRC, and utils. So it goes sp src utils sapi 51 and then there's bin include lib folders there and i think that's for phone me extractor which relates to like the face poser and stuff like that so if you want those projects to compile properly then you need to follow this sapi 51 step and so once all that's done you can go to your spomp folder src folder and then there's two batch files, there's create all projects and create game projects. And so it goes without saying all projects is, well, everything. So you get an everything solution that includes client and server DLL projects. You get VBSP, VRAD, VViz, phone me extractor. And then the games is just pretty much the game stuff. So you get the client, the server, Mathlib and the GUI controls, so stuff related to the game. But you want to select the release version, so you should have an option between debug and release. Uh, select a release initially, I prefer to load up the everything solution as well, so in the everything solution, select release, select build solution or rebuild solution, and that should go through every single project and start building them with if you to or debug them at least. So I think this is everything I need to go over for now. I outlined how to get the Source SDK 2013 single player or multiplayer version through Steam. I outlined how you can get the source code. I outlined how you can get Visual Studio 2013 or any version of Visual Studio you want. And how to get the SAPI 51 folder. And if you have any issues, then ways that you can circumvent the issues. So I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know what you think. Like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it and see you next time for whatever i decide to do leave your comments and thoughts and potential improvements and suggestions in the comments section down below i appreciate the viewership and the support let's see if this video gets anywhere near the original tutorial that i did about this but with that being said and done take care out there see you later and have a great day